So I'm changing my oil today on my 2016 Mazda MX-5 and well we've got everything we need here a set of washers a 23 inch open crescent ideally you'd have a 24 and a 23 inch crow's feet um, or wait have I been saying inches 23 and 24 millimeter crow's feet but uh what, what is this tectin the kit that it came with didn't have a 23 so yeah that was a bummer also got long life hypoid gear oil here from Mazda underneath the car let's see that's the front over there and all the way back exhaust but here is the differential uh, this right here is a fill plug see I've started um, loosening it already uh, and this is the drain plug right over here and I've not loosened that one yet because well this was supposed to be the top one first so go ahead and uh, remove that you know what I'm gonna turn. I just took so I just took the fill plug out and it's right there I saw something interesting however so the top washer here is the one that came off with the bolt you can see uh, hopefully as well as I can here that there's like a groove inside the washer and that's probably because there's sort of a groove on the bolt itself so you know when it presses down on the washer it crushes it thereby making a nice seal against the metal and you know preventing leaks so yeah probably a good idea to use new washers every time to guarantee that nice seal so I'm gonna go ahead and take that drain plug out I took a breaker bar but managed to finally break it loose hopefully burn my hand on its way out Twist it here. Pressure this oil pan and this trajectory. I doubt there will be anything coming out this first time. Oh, I see a little bit of liquid coming out. Just a little bit. not that hot I'm still wearing safety goggles so oh look at that and we're getting drips just move that closer oh 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 geez oh thank goodness Ooh, it smells weird golden brown which I guess is a good thing there's that bolt there all right well it definitely wasn't underfill that not that I was really hearing any sounds back here I think the transmission is going to be more interesting but yeah I was really working that diff during that track day in uh, Roebling Road Raceway a lot of long sweeping turns well, especially when my instructor drive it he was he actually turned traction control off I didn't have the balls to do that but whenever he did and the car started slipping you could feel that rotation and it was just wow amazing so intoxicating this is worth noting here that there was 
if I could get that to focus. Come on. Well, anyways, there is a very thick caking of crap. Just, just focus. Oh god, it's more of like a paste. Ooh. So that was what was on my fingers earlier. But yeah, it's a healthy amount of gray gooey matter. I don't know. Probably no cause for concern since it has been 28,000 miles and it's never been changed. But yikes. It's gross. It's all silvery flakes. I'm guessing that's a magnet. Hmm. The last step of this process is to finally tighten that drain bolt with the brand new washer with it. And uh, yeah, you want it to be just about, I guess, for, what was it, 40 to 53 Newton meters. So I've got it set to, I think it looks to be about 50. So we've got the drain plug in place. I rounded off a little bit of two corners unfortunately. Couldn't help it even though I had the right crow's feet and everything. God damn it. Anyways, got my pump and my oil and I'm just going to pump it in. Just using my fingers here. And it's really not that hard to do but this is kind of a weird angle holding it with the camera. Oof. But apparently it'll be done whenever it starts overflowing from the fill port. So, yeah. I got it in there, so I suppose we continue to pump. And then we wait until it start us, starts overflowing from the port. My hands are starting to hurt. Okay. Hurry up and be filled. That'd be great. Ugh. Still going. My hand strain doesn't appear to be any leaks. It's good. Alright, that's much more comfortable. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Please hurry up. Wow, it is taking an incredible amount of pumps on this thing, but I guess it's just slow. Oh, oh, there it is. Finally, we have overflow. So we're good now. Now I can cap it, or clean it, and then cap it.